everyone, welcome back. And today I want to show some photos I've taken with my new 120N during Holga Week 2022. But not only that, I also want to talk a little bit about the methodology that I used in doing so. But before that, I want to go back real quick and I want to show you how I taped the back of the camera. Because in my previous video, I had mentioned that I had learned a couple tips on how to try to prevent light leaks in this camera. So I taped the back of the camera, but I forgot to demonstrate it. So I'm going to back and do that. And then we'll talk about the camera settings, the film, the developer I used, and then we're going to show you some photos. Here it is after it's all taped up. I got some black electrical tape. And I use electrical tape because it's nice and stretchy and helps seal the back real good. I taped along the top seam of the film back, the latches on both sides, and the seam where the film door and the latches connect, and also the bottom seam. So the tape runs all around the entire film back. I also put some tape over the film exposure window, so that way when after you're done advancing the roll to the next frame, you can simply cover this up to prevent any light coming in that window. Okay, now that's how I taped up the back of the camera to help prevent it from possible light leaks. And you can see I taped that sucker up like a mummy. Uh, the only thing I have to say, I use electrical tape and when you take that tape off, it's pretty much useless after that. It gets all crunched up. So I always bring extra tape with me uh, when I'm out shooting, so that way when I have to put a new, a new roll of film in the camera, I can retape the back of the camera. It's not a big deal. I take the roll of tape and a little pen knife with me, and in about a minute I could tape uh, the back of the camera up. But so much for taping the back of the camera. Now let's move on to the main subject at hand, and that is the photographs that I was able to take with this camera during Holga Week 2022. I had the opportunity to shoot five rolls of film, and that film was HP5. Now, HP5 is the film I'm probably going to use in this camera most of the time. Now, the days that I went out shooting, I was lucky, and I had extremely, extremely bright days. So I had really good conditions, and I went to like three or four of my favorite places that I normally frequent. And... Um, I was able, like I said, to shoot the five rolls of film. So when I got the film back, uh, back home, I decided to develop it in Rodinol. Now this is R09 one shot, which is, which is Rodinol. There's, I think, several companies that make Rodinol, so it's under different names, but I believe this is Compard R09 one shot, which is Rodinol. So I used a dilution of one to 25, and because, like I said, the days were really bright. So instead of the normal eight minutes at 68 degrees, uh, I developed the film for six minutes instead to try to compensate for possible overexposure. So let's take a step back a second. I was concerned about overexposure. And the reason why with this camera, the smallest lens opening is F11. The shutter speed is a hundredth of a second. I'm using Alfred HP5, which is 400 ISO. And if we go simply by the uh, Sunny 16 rule, we know that at F16, I need a 400th of a second with a 400 ISO film. So there's my concern right there that I might have too much light because of the lighting conditions. So I decided that with the Rodinol, instead of developing at eight minutes, I pulled back to six minutes to compensate for the possible overexposure. And that's what I did. I did that on all five rolls because the lighting conditions were similar for those three days. So please take a look at the photos, check out the results. And if you like the video and if you like the photos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And once again, thank you for viewing and I'll catch you on the next one.